Mr. Chair? Yes, uh, Congressman Paul. Uh, DML Palmer. I move that we dispense with the calling of the roll, Mr. Chair. Seconded by Congressman Plato. Second. Are there any objections? Hearing none, the calling of the roll is hereby dispensed with. Um, may we now direct the title of the inquiry? Yes, sir, Your Honors. Motto proprio inquiry in aid of legislation into the implementation gaps regarding Republic Act Number no. 7277 as amended and Republic Act Number no. 9994 and policies that provide discounts, incentives, and tax exemptions for persons with disabilities and senior citizens. Sir, Your Honor. My speaker, Ferdinand Martin G. Romualdez, instructed the House of Representatives, specifically three committees, the Committee of Ways and Means, which is in charge of providing incentives and tax exemptions, as well as, of course, um, the Committee on Senior Citizen and the Special Committee on Persons with Disability, to investigate reports and improper grants of discounts in order to review the implementation of existing laws and plug the holes, so to speak. Recent violation of RA 7432 was amended or the Senior Citizens Act of 2010, RA 7277 or the Magna Carta for Disabled Persons have sparked public outcry. In light of this, our speakers urging our committees to scrutinize the compliance of businesses and service providers with these laws and ensure the proper and effective implementation of discounts for senior citizens and PWDs and other special privileges. On the part of the Committee on Ways and Means, we are particularly interested in the revenue program from these discounts, tax exemption and privileges, and hope that our Department of Finance can provide us with information in due time. We'd like to know the estimates of revenue leakages, as well as, of course, um, to ensure that the public um, knows exactly where we put our money, where our mouth is, by providing incentives to these special sectors. Uh, at this point, may now hear from the representative or the chairperson, the special committee on uh, on person in AB disabilities to deliver his message. May we understand, uh, my good friend, the chairperson, chairperson Congressman Alfred Bascook is in the Zoom. Ah, okay. So with uh, Palma, we'll, we'll thank read. you, Mister. Thank you, Mister Chair. Good morning to my colleagues and guests present. Unfortunately, Chairman Alfred Balskug of our Special Committee on Persons with Disabilities is unable to join us today and has requested me to deliver the opening remarks on his behalf. The 1987 Constitution provides an integrated and comprehensive approach to health, including the provision of essential goods, health, and other social services to all at all affordable costs. In pursuit of this, Congress enacted Republic Act 7277, including several amendments to provide a comprehensive policy for the improvement and well-being of persons with disabilities and the, their integration into the mainstream of society, which include the provision of privileges such as discount on foods, medicines, education, basic commodities, and other services. Congress has time and again advocated for the upliftment of the lives of of the vulnerable sectors of our society through laws that provides ample support and assistance to those, to those who need it the most. While our current laws encourage an inclusive community, persons with disabilities still face up substantial barriers in everyday life and are hindered from full and equal participation in the society. This is inseverated by reports of flagrant violations of the laws that grant benefits to our PWD. And unemphasized by our Honorable Speaker, Ferdinand Martin Romualdez, it is with this in mind that under the directive of Speaker Romualdez and through the leadership of Chairperson Alfred Baskog of the Special Committee on Persons with Disabilities, together with the Chairman, Chairperson Joey Salcedo of the Committee on Ways and Means, and Chairperson Ompong Ordanes of the Committee of Senior Citizens that we investigate in aid of legislation the alleged violation of Republic Act 7277 as amended and Republic Act number 9994 and study the implementation of GAPS to ensure that the benefits legislated will redound to persons with, the, with disabilities and our senior citizens. Thank you very much and good morning to everybody. Thank you very much. Uh, now. Uh, may we hear from the chairperson, the Committee of Senior Citizens, a full standing committee of Congress, Congressman Rodolfo Ompong M. Ordanes. As the chairperson of the Committee on Senior Citizens, 
And on behalf of the more than 12 million strong senior citizen population, we are here today with a sense of duty and a commitment to address the pressing issues that affect our senior citizens and persons with disabilities. Republic Act number 9994, or the Expanded Senior Citizens Act of 2010, and Republic Act number 10754, known as the Act Expanding the Benefits and Privileges of Persons with Disability, were enacted with the noble intention of improving the lives of our elderly and persons with disabilities. These laws are a testament to our commitment to creating an inclusive and compassionate society where the well-being of every senior citizen and PWD is a pri priority. Ngunit hindi dapat ang mga batas ay maganda lamang sa papel at hindi na isa sa katupad ng maayos at nagiging epektibo sa pang-araw-araw na buhay ng ating mga kababayan. Pamakailan lamang ay naglabas ng bagong patakaran ang isa sa pinakamalaking COVID chain sa ating bansa kung saan nililimita ang pag-avail ng 20% discount at 12% bat exemption ng ating mga senior citizens at PWDs sa kanilang one food item and one drink per visit policy. Marami na rin mga pagkakataon ng ating mga senior citizens at PWDs ay dinideny ng kanilang discount at bat exemption, bat tax exemption. Dahilan na ang mga serbisyong kanilang ina-avail sa iba't ibang establishmento tulad ng mga hotels ay nakapromo na. Ito ay ilan lamang sa napakaraming pagkakataon na hindi kinikilala ang ating mga karapatan. As much as we acknowledge that these establishments policies are meant to monitor and prevent abuse, we firmly believe that these discount privileges, tax exemptions, and incentives should not be limited for as long as they are for the use and personal consumption of our senior citizens and PWDs. As such, this motto, motto pro proprio inquiry in aid of legislation aims to address these implementation gaps. I look forward to engaging in fruitful discussions that lead to championing the rights and welfare of our senior citizens and persons with disabilities. Together, we can bridge these gaps, strengthen ex existing policies, and create a more compassionate society that genuinely honors and cares for these valued members of our community.